A map scale indicates that one half inch on the map corresponds with three real miles. How many miles apart are two cities that are two and one quarter inches apart on the map? Let's learn. We want to differentiate here key parts. We have one half inch on the map and three real miles in real life. That's a kind of our key here. And the two cities are two and a quarter inches apart on the map. So let's go set up a proportion here of the map basically over the real. So what they tell us here in the first part is that one half inches on the map is the same as three miles. So on the map, the two cities are two and a quarter inches apart. And we want to find how many X miles in real life they are. So now we have a proportion we set up from our problem. We just have to well, solve it. Okay. Now it gets kind of a little tricky here. Okay. Let's go kind of rewrite. Let's ignore the inches and miles here for right now. Let's just deal with the numbers. So I'm going to rewrite this as one half over three is equal to two and a quarter. Let's multiply that as an improper fraction. Four times two is eight plus one is a nine. So nine over four over X. I want to multiply each denominator to the other side, kind of just bringing them up like this. Okay. So what that gives us is a one half times our X value is equal to nine fourths times our three. All right. So now we have X over two essentially is equal to nine times three, which is a 27 over a four. From there, let's multiply two to both sides. And we have, well, cancels out here on the left. So actually, <laughs> I know it's kind of out of the way here, but it's all right. We have X equals 27 over four times a two. Well, luckily for us, two and the four kind of cancel out because it's a two in the denominator here and 27 over two as a proper fraction um, be 13 and one half two goes in 27 be 26 is 13 plus the extra half there's our conversion here so the two cities are 13 and a half miles a part and that's our answer hope you learned something here as always Thanks for watching.